Just a day after the state government handed down its budget, the critics have come out swinging. They say underspending on early childcare is putting three- and four-year-olds at a disadvantage. Political reporter Bridget Glanville explains. It's this kind of construction the Treasurer wants to see more of. If we didn't have a strong budget, we wouldn't have be able to commit the extra funds. But the government is being accused of underspending in other key areas. The budget papers show more than $360 million was allocated to the early childhood sector this financial year, but only $262 million has been used, leaving $98 million yet to be spent. Preschools will become less affordable. We have some of the highest fees across the country. In New South Wales, funding for preschools is lower than any other state or territory, at just $193 per child. Compare that with Victoria, where the figure is more than $300. Australia is definitely lagging behind. The trend internationally is for governments to spend more on early childhood education, and what we're seeing now is a government spending less. The government says it's not its fault there's money left in the bank. The difference between the budgeted and the expenditure is due to the delay in the funding that received from the Commonwealth Government under the National Partnership Agreement. Home buyers also say they've missed out. Mitchell and Robin Evans run an emergency food and support centre for inner Sydney's homeless. The young couple sold their Western Sydney home two years ago and are now struggling to buy in the community they serve. It's quite frustrating as uh, someone going to auction after auction after auction um, and just being priced out time and time again uh, with the ridiculous prices that are being paid for um, properties in the city. The opposition says $400 million set aside to build new homes isn't enough to help home buyers. When the good times are rolling in, as Mike Baird says they are, that's the time to be a little bit generous to people who are really in need. The Shadow Treasurer will outline his budget response tomorrow. Bridget Glanville, ABC News.